Hi, I'm Anthony, and today I'm going to show you my exact three-step formula for writing the perfect prompts in order to get the perfect output. So just go ahead and go to your favorite AI. This was my favorite. It's called Google AI Studio. And the reason why it's my favorite is because it allows you to set the temperature. Now, what is temperature? Well, in the case of AI agents, basically what it means is how crazy the response are. So basically it ranges from zero to two, and one is usually the default. But if you want more consistency, you would lower it to something like 0 0.5. Or if you want it a little bit crazier, you can increase it to something like 1.5. Personally, after thousands of tests, I found that 0 0.4 is basically the best for every single scenario because it gives it enough creativity, enough craziness to do good output, but it's also not too crazy to where it gives you stuff that you don't want, okay? All right, number one, role and the goal. Now, if you say something like, write me a prompt, it's not going to know what type of prompt to give you. You know, it could give you a prompt on AI voice agents. It could give you a prompt on animals. It can give you a prompt on anything that anything it could come up with, right? It's just random at that point. But if you say something like, "You are a vappy expert, and you are also a master of NADN. Your goal is to help me to write the assistant." prompt for my AI receptionist for the dental clinic niche. Okay. So as you can see, immediately we've already narrowed it down significantly what the AI can actually give us, right? So it can only basically give us things about VAPI. It can give us base things about NADN and for a receptionist and a dental clinic, right? Those are the keywords that it's going to look at. And from that, it's going to be able to basically narrow the choices down when it's creating the answer for you, okay? Now, the second thing that we need is to give it some context. Now, what does context mean? Context is basically all the information surrounding the, the output that you're trying to get in order to help it basically guide it on the right direction so that it can get you what you want. And the best example of this is to just give it an example. So you could literally just say, for example, I have attached an example of an ideal assistant prompt but this one is for the real estate niche i need you to adapt it for the dental clinic niche okay so once you've done this it gives it a really good structure of what exactly it needs to do because i'll just show you real quick but basically go to some files that you've downloaded from my school community and then open up the assistant prompt and just drop it straight in, okay? And once you've done that, basically, it'll have a good structure of what you're looking for. For example, it's going to have step one, step two, step three. It's going to know that basically it's going to answer the phone. It's going to give a first message, something like, hello, this is Amanda from Apex Realty. Or in this case, since we're switching it to the dental net, just be something like, hello, this is Amanda from the dental clinic or whatever it's called, right? And so basically, it's going to use the it's going to use 90% of the same structure and then just change the parts that need to be changed, right? And so this way you'll be able to basically mimic the output that's in the file that, you've, that you're providing it, but it'll be able to change the parts that are actually different. So this is a very easy way to get closer to the output that you're looking for. And number three, this is probably the most important. This one is constraints and response format. Now, the easiest way to explain this is basically we're going to say something like, give your response as a single block of code then after that give me exactly what you changed and why okay and this is basically going to say well the mo the main meat of this answer is going to be the single block of code which is going to contain the assistant prompt that way you can just click copy and just paste it straight into your VAPI agent. And then the next part is after that, give me exactly what you changed and why. This is important because that lets you keep track of what they actually changed. And if they changed the wrong thing, you can go back and fix it. Or if they changed it correctly, then you could actually acknowledge that. And so that, that, that really saves you a lot of time when it comes to troubleshooting and debugging so that you know what exactly happened. Okay. And finally, what I like to do at the very end is just add a line that says triple check for accuracy. Okay, so what happens when these AIs do things a lot of times is that they just do it once. And then, but the problem with that is if you do it once, there's a maybe like a 20% chance that it screws it up. Okay, but if you say triple check for accuracy, it'll actually run it three times. And if you think about it, if you're, if you're using it 80% correct the first time, 
and then you're checking it so it's 80 percent correct the second time and you check it one more time it's 80 percent correct the third time really you have about a 99 percent chance of getting it correct so if you just say this one part right here triple check your accuracy it's going to make your answers a lot better and you're never you're almost never going to have to repop because it's going to give you exactly what you want on the very first try okay so let's go ahead and just try it and see what happens and you know we'll see what happens so all right so now it is done loading this is basically what's going to look like it's going to give you your answer in a block of code so that you can literally just hit download right here if you want to download it straightly as a file or you can just hit copy here and it'll copy to your clipboard and you can go over and paste it over okay and it should basically say the summaries of changes and reasoning so this is actually really really cool so as you can see they changed it from the clinic staff to the office staff they changed the glow clinic to bright smiles dental consultation to patient exam and and so on and so forth okay and this way you can really keep track of what's going on and again you can go back and uh, fix it if you need to so so there it is you just learned the exact three-step formula that i used to write the perfect prompts to get the perfect output number one role and goal number two context or examples and number three response format triple for accuracy whatever it is right and if you're interested in learning how to build and sell ai voice agents go ahead and go over to my school community where you can go visit the youtube tab you can download all the resources for that and also i've done a free master class where i build a production ready ai agent for my students so make sure to check that out and if you like the video make sure to subscribe and i will see you in the next video have a good one